right, Legionnaires, this is Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery, and I'm back with another video. Now, I was going to do a Slim Wood Saturday, but uh, we have tornado watches here, and it got a little cool, so I'm a little nervous about my health. So hopefully, maybe tomorrow, if it's nice, uh, I'll get it done tomorrow and do a Slim Wood Sunday instead. But uh, I figure I owe you another video, and I wanted to bring you the Rough Rider Cinnamon Bone Stag with Damascus Steel. Uh, this is a canoe knife from Rough Rider, all right? And it is the model number RR2156. And, uh, you know, one thing I haven't talked about since purchasing the canoe knife, so this is like my third canoe knife. I actually bought a fourth one, <clears throat> and that'll be coming, but um, this is my third canoe knife, and I love them so far, man. I, I, the bone, the this particular cinnamon bone stag was very difficult to find. And there's only one uh, person that was selling them. And he's on eBay. A little expensive. Um, but I couldn't find it anyplace else. And I do a lot of research, man. I'll, I'll do, I don't know, two, three days worth of research before purchasing something. But I'm rambling. Uh, so let me get on with this. I love the box, okay? I mean, Rough Riders always come in these great boxes. Um, and they are clasped, clasped with some kind of um, magnet in there. A little magnet, but I think it's pretty classy, you know? I guess they figure if these are going to be collector's pieces, right, that the box is important. And uh, there she is. Cinnamon Bone Stag. I mean, look at how beautiful that that knife is in the box it's so nice all right let's take it out and let's get a good close-up of this wow I, I love it i love that cinnamon bone stag it is just amazing just amazing let's turn it over check it out beautiful beautiful look at that color all right let's check out the rest of the knife now, when I did open this, it did come a little dirty. I kind of got a little upset because I thought maybe they would give me a used knife. But then I think I remember that some people were saying that the knife from Rough Rider sometimes do come a little dirty. So I just cleaned it up, polished it up a little bit. Um, but, but what a beautiful knife. Beautiful canoe. And uh, and unfortunately, the only place I found it was on eBay. So I will I will give you guys the name of the eBayer uh, in a little bit, and um, you know you could you can take a look for yourself in case you guys are interested. But he is selling it for a little bit more money than usual. I saw it on Smoking Mountain Knife Works, which is out of stock for twenty nine ninety nine. This guy's selling it for fifty bucks. Um, but again, you know, I was adamant about getting it and, uh, so I did. So in case you guys feel the same way, you know, that you got to have it, uh, cause I don't know if these are coming back, you know, um, I will give you that eBay and you can go and, uh, check it out for yourself. So, all right, let's check it out. So let's do a real close up. Okay. I want everybody to take a look at the fit and finish of this. I think this particular knife, it's well done. Look at the bolsters. Okay, no gappings in between the bolsters. I think it's done very nice. Okay, on the bottom, there is some slight ga gapping, a little bit. But I just heard from Rusty and Timbo from my Rough Rider Reserve review that I just did that it's okay. A little bit of gapping for, for movement of the steel is okay. But not too bad. Not too bad. You know, and, and please definitely leave... Uh, comments letting me know if I'm right or wrong about this but look at how beautiful that is getting a close look all around not bad not bad at all and now these are Damascus um, spear and pen knives and I, I think they're gorgeous I just look at that and I did rub my finger on it it feels like Damascus layered steel you know so take a look at that look at that Damascus steel 
Nail nick is done very well, very neat. Let's turn this around. Check it out, guys. There's the model. Rough Rider 2156. Beautiful, beautiful blade. Okay, let me close this up. And let's get the pen. I think this is called a pen. Okay. And again, you can see that Damascus. I'm going to get the right angle so you can see the Damascus. And again, I felt it with my finger. It's definitely layered, so it doesn't feel like it's etched. You know, so, oh, there you go. You get a really good look right there. All right, let's take a look at this side now. Very nice, very nice. I am really enjoying these canoe knives. Um, I think these are my favorite slip joints. Um, and I, you know what? The Rough Rider Reserve Nomad Hunter is not a slip joint. It is a lockback. I think I may have said slip joint in the last video, but eh, okay, no problem. And... You know, the bolsters are done very nice. Now, this one doesn't have any kind of liners like the Carbon T10 one I, I, I had gotten. But still, very nice. Very nice knife. Um, if anybody knows what the acorn actually means, I don't know that RR. I don't know if just if that's just a symbol or part of design or if an acorn means something on this. But just, just a beautiful knife. So let me put this down. I do have some specs. Okay, I want to give you some specs. I got these specs off of um, uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works because not too not too many places have the specs for this. So the brand is Rough Rider, right? The model number is RR2156. It is a canoe knife. Uh, both blades are spear point, but I know that the one is called a spear point and the other is a pen, pen knife, right? The handle color is bone. It is a bone stag, right? Cinnamon bone stag. The blade material is Damascus steel. There is a shield on here and they call it an acorn shield. There is a number of blades, which are two. Uh, so the blade length, right? So the bigger, the bigger um, spear point is 2.5 inch and the pen knife is a two inch. Blade thickness is 1 16th inch. Uh, the closed length of the knife is 3.625 inch. Uh, finish, polished, finished. Okay, so it's a polished finish. Both uh, edge types are plain. I've never seen a canoe knife with um, um, <clears throat> serrated. Oh, brass liners. So the, they are brass liners in here, okay, for the frame and liner type. So it is brass. That's cool. Uh, opener, match, strike, pulls. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what that means. So again, Timbo and uh, Rusty, if you could help me out what that means, match, strike, pulls. If that means anything to you, I would appreciate it. Uh, and the lock type is a slip joint. All right, cool. So those are the specs. Um, yeah. So uh, I have over here from my last video, some shavings. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take this knife and I'm gonna shave some more because I want to see how both how both blades performed, even though they are you know a Damascus type. And I want you guys to see too. So I'm gonna take this out, put the box onto the side, and I'm just gonna get this over here, and we'll just do a little bit of whittling, you know. Ugh. And then hopefully, guys, tomorrow, tomorrow, I can honor some people with. The fat wood. I'm sorry, the slim wood Sunday. <laughs> All right, let's see if I'm in frame. I'll make sure I get this for everybody. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's doing the job. Just want to make sure that you guys get it. You see those curls right there? It is sharp, the blade. Came pretty sharp. You know? Yeah. So I 
so difficult to try and get this in the frame. Yeah, man. I mean, it's doing the job. You know, if you, uh, you have a hobby of whittling or carving, this might help out. All right, here we go. Here we go. There's some nice curls right there. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Feels great in the hand. You know, uh, it's not too big, but still very comfortable in the hand. Let's try it with the smaller blade. Make sure I'm in frame for you guys. All right, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Pull up the table, but still doing the curls. I, I tell you, I I got to thank some of the content creators, you know, especially Jersey Knife Guy. I mean, after I saw that rant with the case, I was like, damn, you know, I got to try some of these slip joints. I got to see what the big deal is. You know what? I'm glad I did. Yeah, this this is, this will do the job, guys. Look, look at the. Look at the curls that are coming out of this. All right, cool. Check it out. Not bad, not bad. A couple curls here, pick that up. And hopefully it'll be an okay day tomorrow so I can, I don't know, maybe on a Timbo and Rusty for help me out with some answers. Um, hopefully I'll feel a little bit better. Yeah, I don't want that smoke going into my lungs and it's just making, uh, you know, making my bronchitis, I mean, uh, my pneumonia worse because that's all I need to tell my wife. Yeah, I was outside doing a fat with Friday and I don't feel too good. Yeah, she'll, she'll use this to cut you know what off. Anyway, okay. Let's take one last look at the knife. Let me open them both up. Pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. I can't get it all into the frame. Let me see. There we go. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. All right. Another successful review in my eyes. <laughs> so um, let's remember our vets. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. Uh, in my description are links for you to call and get some help if you need it. Um, you know, I believe in the citizen soldier, the U.S. citizen soldier. Um, you know, if you guys are having issues, please, you know, seek some help that with people that could help you out. And, uh, yeah, you know, I appreciate all my subscribers, all my, all my, all my troops, my legionnaires. Um, you know, I, I hope that, uh, a lot of new subscribers, uh, enjoy this content and will subscribe. Um, let me know what you think in the comments about this knife and I will leave a link uh, to the eBayer, okay, in uh, in a pinned comment, in case any of you are interested in getting this particular model. All right, so let's take a look at that Damascus one more time. And again, guys, this is real Damascus. I I, I don't think this is any kind of bullshit, but um, it's not etched. But uh, you know, I I am so appreciative about these. The, all right, sorry about that, guys. There was a little hiccup here. I ran out of room on my camera. So, yeah, again, I just want to say I'm so appreciative to the content creators who, who you know, um, were kind enough to, to review their canoe knives and their slip joints. And, and you know, I, I'm, I'm appreciative uh, to these guys because, I'm you know, I'm, I'm into a whole new realm of knives. So, fantastic, you know. All right. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Again, I appreciate all my uh, my legionnaires, my troops. Um, to all you new subscribers, don't be afraid. Join up, you know, join the ranks. Uh, come legionnaire. Um, it's decent content. All right. You guys take care of yourselves. And uh, have a nice weekend. Hopefully tomorrow I could do a nice uh, Slimwood Saturday. All right? I'm sorry, Slimwood Sunday. Okay. Take care, guys. We'll see you on the, on the next video. Bye-bye.